Hey Eagle fans, it's Eagle Fan Carl. This is going to be my prediction video for tomorrow afternoon's game against the Los Angeles Chargers. I've got to get used to saying that. I've been saying San Diego Chargers my whole life. Uh, so you got to get used to saying Los Angeles Chargers since we play them out there on the West Coast uh, tomorrow afternoon. And you really have to love how the season's going so far. We're really in the driver's seat as it relates to the division. Uh, the Giants, obviously, are all the way at the bottom at 0-3. And sure, we're tied with the Cowboys and Redskins, but we're the only team of the three that are 2-0 in the division. So we've got two division wins, which is huge right now. Uh, so like I said, really in the driver's seat. And are we going to keep it going this week? <laughs> I have my doubts, and I'm really concerned about this game. I know you look at the records of the two teams, you see the Chargers are 0-3, and you think, well, the Eagles should win this game easily, uh, but I wouldn't quite go there. Uh, the Chargers are probably better than the 0-3 suggests. And that has to do with the fact that uh, of the three losses they have, two of them were against division opponents, uh, one on the road, one at home. The one at home was against, was against the Chiefs, uh, one of the only undefeated teams left in the league. Uh, and so they're playing in what I think is probably the best division in football. The AFC West, I think, is the best division in football. So the fact they've lost two of those games in division doesn't, uh, I don't think that's really that much of a strike against them. Also, the other game that they lost was against the Dolphins who were really playing their season opener week two since they had the first game get canceled because of the hurricane. Uh, so really, they, the Dolphins sort of have an, had a lot of emotion going into that game as well. So I think that that was uh, a lot of it. So the fact that they're 0-3, oh, and the other thing that you should keep in mind is of uh, two of those l three losses, they were a rookie kicker missed field goal away from either being tied or winning the game uh, at the end. So uh, you factor all those things together, and this team is probably better than the 0-3 record suggests. You put all that together with the fact that the Eagles are going to be going on the road playing a non-conference team after they're coming off an emotional divisional win. Uh, it just sets up for a letdown kind of a game. Uh, and I don't remember exactly which radio personality I heard saying it because I listened to quite a few programs this past week. Uh, but whoever said it, I think, was right on the nose. Uh, you know, when it comes to the NFL... Uh, and the schedule, it's not so much who you play as when you play them. And I think this game just sets up bad for the Eagles. As a result of that, I don't like our chances in this game. And um, I'll get to my uh, score in a minute, but just to give you a little bit of preview, I really don't like uh, the way this game sets up for the Eagles. All that said, I've got to say that I think that the Eagles are the better team. If uh, these two teams were playing 10 times, the Eagles would probably win seven or eight of those games. Uh, it's just this happens to be one of the games that sets up in an unfavorable situation, so it's probably more likely that they lose it than win it. How are the Eagles going to win this game? I think there's a couple of different ways we can go about this and, and win this game. The first is to take a... Um, a page out of last week's playbook, not the one that said to go for it on fourth and eight. I'm still trying to move beyond that. Uh, but the one that really, where we really committed to the running game. And there's a few reasons for that. I really think that if we commit to the running game, we'll really be able to get that going. Uh, and I think that's important for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, San Diego... LA is really good against the uh, is is good at the pass rush. Uh, they're second in the league in uh, sacks this year, uh, so they've been really good at getting to the quarterback. But they haven't been that great against the run. Uh, so far this season, and the three games they have played, uh, they've had two games where they gave up, uh, a, a rusher went for over 100 yards against them, and in the other game they had two running backs combined go for over 100 yards against them. So you can see that they are vulnerable on the ground and they will give up yards on the ground. So for that reason, I think it's really important that we establish the running game because I think their di defense sort of dictates that. The second reason is the fact that our defense is really banged up right now. Fletcher Cox, it was announced, is not going to be playing. Uh, so we're going to be vulnerable in the, in the middle part of that defensive line. Uh, and we really need to do what we can to sort of keep our defense um, off the field and allow the offense to really establish um, really establish sort of the, the pace of the game and keep control of the clock uh, that way. So I think that's going to be important. Um, I don't want to do a full statistical breakdown like I've done in the past, uh, probably until next week, because once we get a quarter of way into the season, you'll have four games. That's a good sample size. Right now, you can have a one-game aberration that can really sort of throw off some statistics. Uh, but I did take a look at the statistics this week going into this game. And one statistic 
statistic that really jumped out at me that uh, I knew it was probably good for the Eagles, but I wasn't. I didn't realize it was this good. The Eagles so far, we're only three games in, granted, but the Eagles so far lead the league in time of possession. Uh, and a lot of that, I think, had to do with this past week where we just absolutely dominated time of possession against the Giants. And I think that's what we're going to have to do again this week against the Chargers. It keeps their offense off the field. Um, Philip Rivers is someone who can have good games and really pass all over us. Uh, given the fact that our defense is banged up uh, and uh, you know our secondary is already a little questionable, uh, it's for that reason. It's for those reasons that I really think we need to try and keep Philip Rivers and the offense on the sideline. And I think that's going to probably give us the best chance uh, to win the game. As it relates to the Chargers' offense against our defense, though, uh, like I said, their offense is probably more pass-based, which is also problematic for us, which is another one of the concerns I have, which means it's really important that we have got to get pressure on Phillip Rivers. If we're not getting pressure on Phillip Rivers, I think it's probably going to be a long day for our secondary. We can't have what we had last week against the Giants, where we were giving up a lot of short, uh, short passes. I prefer to see uh, the Eagles play up on the receivers a little bit more and try and get some pressure with our DNs. And I think if we can do that, if we're able to get some pressure on Rivers, uh, that could potentially lead to some turnovers and that could be a way we win this game. But like I said, I just don't like the way this game sets up for us. That's for that reason, I am going to predict that the Chargers will win this game. My prediction for a score is going to be Chargers 21, Eagles 17. But let me know what you think. Am I being paranoid about this game? Uh, you know, are the Eagles that much better that they can overcome some of these things and beat this Chargers team? Uh, let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. Uh, give me your predictions. We'll see what happens. I'll go ahead and check in after the game, give you some of my thoughts, my studs and duds, and let you know what I thought. Uh, hopefully an Eagles win. Hopefully I'm wrong so far. I've been 3-0 on my predictions this year. Hopefully I go to 3-1 and and the Eagles are able to win this game. Uh, but otherwise, like I said, I'll check in after the game, let you know what I think. Until then, fly Eagles fly.